Hey, what's up guys? Uh, uh, how you guys are doing? Um, today I'm going to show you how to wire a uh, uh, hot water boiler with a pump and a control box. Well, we have a, like uh, what, is, what is called a control box for the pump. There's no zone valves. And so this is kind of like every apartment has its own um, pump into the system, okay? So it's pretty simple. It's a uh, Almost the whole thing is already wired. We got the acrostat, we got the power, which is 120 volts right here. And you got line one neutral going to the acrostat. Line one, line two, you got the uh, neutral and hot, and you got the C1, C2 for the main pump of the whole building. And then you got the B1, B2 going into the gas valve, and also to the rollout switch, and then into the burners. We also have the TV and T, which the wires are hanging over here. We are just waiting to connect this controls into these two wires. So whenever the apartment or level of the, of the commercial building is coming for the system, it should uh, call for uh, the TV and T, and then it should run the burners and the pump, okay? So uh, once again, this is uh, a, a, an apartment building with every apartment having its own pump. Uh, and we're talking about the circulated pump, okay? So here we go. Uh, first of all, we need to send 120 volts into this control. Now, very important, whenever you're grabbing 120 volts from this circuit, let's say this is the circuit close to the, to the boiler. You gotta be careful and not to overload it, the circuit. Let's say that this is wire number 14, which is AWG, American Wire Gauge, is number 14 which a number 14 wire is good for 15 amps, yes? So if you add more power, I mean you're taking more voltage from that into two more pumps, maybe you're gonna overload the circuit. So in this situation, you're gonna probably have another breaker. You're gonna have to separate the, the circuit. This, this breaker is gonna be just for the boiler, just for this area. And then you're going to add another voltage, let's say another circuit breaker, which is going to be line one and neutral with another number 14 gauge wire and 15 amps. And that should be okay for two pumps, for example, okay? So now that I have 120 volts right here, number 14 gauge wire, 15 amps, it's okay to send line one to all these controls. All right, here you go. So line one is gonna go to the number one of the control. From there, you can pigtail it from this control into the other control, which is line one, okay? So that's 120 volts coming to the control. Now the control is supposed to close the contacts and send it to the what? To the pump. So we're gonna get to number three, that's your normally open contact, number three into the pump, right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other pump, number three into the pump. Oops. There you go. So now, every one of those pumps is gonna have hot, uh, 120 volts coming from number one, but then this control, it has a relay. So number one is going close to number three, once you call for heat, right? Right now it's not happening, but right now we are reconnected to the pump, right? Now, number two on this control is neutral. So we're gonna have to get the neutral from here to number two of the control. And then we can also pigtail neutral from here into the other control. So now the control has neutral. You can see number two, number two. And now we're done with the high voltage. Oh, sorry, I forgot something here. Um, you need to send neutral to number two because inside of this control, we got a transformer. There's two controls, by the way. It has a transformer, so you have to send neutral to it, all right? From here, you can send it from number two, you can send it to the pump because the pump needs what? Neutral. You can send it from number two, or you can pigtail from somewhere over here, and it's fine. Number two, 
you have to come out and send it to the pump because the pump is neutral. Cool? Now, we need to activate, we need to activate this control. We need the, when you send uh, the 24 volts to the relay, it's supposed to close and send voltage from one to three. So this way it's gonna activate the pump, right? So we need to send 24 volts to the control, but that's coming from where? From the thermostat. So this is how the manufacturer wants it. There's two T's right here. T means thermostat. So what you're gonna do is run a wire from any of those, doesn't matter which T, send a red wire, send it all the way to the thermostat, to the R. And then which one is gonna be for heat, W. Let me use a different color, just for you guys to see it. W comes out, and then you send it back into the other T. Yes? So from this T, 24 volts is coming out from the transformer, which is sent to the thermostat. From that thermostat, the W, this copper heat, is going back to the other T connection. And this is going to be our signal for this control to close from 1 to 3 so we can turn on the pump. Okay, so you're gonna do exactly the same thing with the other circuit. T comes out all the way to R. And from W, go back into the other T. Cool? So, so far we're almost done. We're almost done, we got the thermostat connected, we got the controls connected. The only one question left is how, how this control is gonna send the signal to the aquastat, so the aquastat is going to turn the burners and the pump. How is it going to happen? Through these two connections. You see what it says, X, X? The X, X on this control is like the end switch. Remember the end switch on the zone valve? They're supposed to close and then it calls for the cooling for the zone, for the aquastat. It's the same thing. So look at this. You can even do this. Let me use the different color of the wire. You can even do this. X to X and this one to the other X and from that X and from this one back to the other X. Sorry about this wiring. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. So we're wiring in, in, in parallel, not in series, but we're wiring in parallel these two axes with the other two axes and from here all the way to the aquastat. Okay? So I'm just going to give you a brief explanation of how this thing is going to work. we got to hurry up. The system right now is off. The pumps are off. The burners are off. The aquastat is off. Everything is off, right? Remember, this one has its own breaker. This one has its own breaker, right? So here we go. Let's put a jumper from R to W, which means the customer for apartment number one is coming for heat. R goes to W, 24 volts, goes back into the T of the control. What the control is going to do is going to close the contact from 1 to 3. So inside this control is going to put a jumper, 1 to 3, which is going to send 120 volts where? Into the pump. So this pump is getting 120 volts which the pump is going to start what? running. It's going to circulate the water for that apartment. Now, remember the XX? Inside this relay, this X with this X is going to put them together. What puts together the, the two X's here is going to close the circuit to who? To the aquastat. And then the aquastat is going to send 120 volts for this pump, and also it's going to send 24 volts to the gas valve, which in the gas valve, it's going to turn on and the burners are coming on. Yes? Once the burners are coming on, the water is going to get heated up to 180 degrees, which this is the, the limit for the limit control, which is supposed to be right here. And then it's going to get up to 180 degrees and it's going to shut off the burners and it depends on when you call the heat. Yes? So any of these apartments, they can actually call for heat individually. They don't have to call for heat, like, you need to call for heat so I, in order for my system to work. No, they're just work separate. 
individual, right? They're not, they don't need to be calling for E at the same time. Yes? Now, if you look at this, it became a mess, but I mean, there's something that I can leave with YouTube so you guys can take a look. And whenever you see a control like this, that's the double right here, and this is how you wire for, for, for the pump. Cool? We got it? All right. Well, guys, uh, I hope you guys like the video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.